The city demonstrated a street vacuuming vehicle on Wall Street Tuesday that it may purchase if it can get merchants and developers to agree to foot a portion of the cost. The machine used in the demonstration is manufactured by the Canadian company Madvac and costs $70,000. The company also makes similar machines with fewer features that cost less. For the demonstration, Department of Public Works employee Matt Halverson operated the machine's remote-controlled arm from the operator's seat and also showed how a separate, handheld nozzle can be used to reach around poles and other objects along the sidewalk. Similar to a home vacuum, debris sucked up by the Madvac machine empties into a bag contained in the rear of the vehicle. When full, the bag can be thrown away or emptied and reused. Mayor Harry Rilling said this about incorporating the machine's use into the city's street cleaning program. Hey, this is part of my Clean Streets initiative where we're looking at different ways that we can form public and private partnerships to keep our streets clean so that when people come into the community they see clean streets and it makes it more welcoming and makes Norwalk more attractive. Okay, and how, how does this machine help? Well, this machine can be used to vacuum up debris, uh, dirt that forms in the gutters, goes on the sidewalks, whereas a lot of times the street sweeper that we have can't, well obviously can't get up on the sidewalks, this can. And we'll be using this to follow up on some of these uh, street cleaning efforts. You know recently I've re-implemented our street sweeping program uh, that had been let go for several years. Now we're working on a regular basis in various parts of the community to have the street sweeper out there picking up the, uh, the, the, the dirt that forms in the, in the gutters, the litter that forms in the gutters, and again, trying to make our streets as attractive as possible. And where do you intend to use this machine? What parts of the city? Actually, it can be used everywhere. Uh, I want to make it clear, we don't own this right now. This is a trial period that we're using. This is a machine that was loaned to us by CN Wood out of North Haven. It's called Madback. There's different models, different kinds of machines, so we're going to be looking at several to see which one best meets our needs. But right now, we're looking to see if we can't form a public-private partnership where we get the uh, business owners and developers to invest in this program also. Uh, the city of Norwalk, we believe we're doing virtually everything we can to keep our streets clean, to make sure that our streets are attractive, but we need a partner to help us. We're also implementing our Clean Streets Ambassador program where uh, years ago when I was young they had an older gentleman with a long white beard and he had a hand cart with a barrel on it and he'd walk up and down Wall Street all day long every day picking up trash. Well we're kind of bringing that back but in a modern version. What we're having is a young man who's going to be our Clean Streets Ambassador. He's got a, a hand cart He's got a barrel. He'll be following up. We have the Sono Stars in South Norwalk that work two weeks, uh, two days one week and three the next. The days they're not in Sono, he'll be there. We have the Goodwill team up here that works two weeks, uh, two days one week, three days the next. When he's not there, when they're not here, he will be. So he'll be walking up and down. He has gum scrapers. He has uh, tools to pick up dirt. Uh, he's got uh, graffiti removal uh, equipment, and he'll be working to k help supplement this program and um, you know again this is something that's going to help keep Norwalk really beautiful. Now this this gentleman is he is he a, a new employee to DPW? No we're, we're using uh, uh, available resources um, obviously uh, we're doing our best to keep costs down R right now it's not going to be cost us, costing us anything uh, we have to see how the program is going to play out see how our investments are going to go whether we're going to get some buy-in from the public uh, private sector see how it all works out and we'll figure out the best way to implement the program Harold Coben reporting for Nancy on Norwalk